Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy, and I have another Country Craft Creations Design Team haul to share with you. And you're gonna laugh, but I was almost done sharing it in a video, and then realized I wasn't actually filming. So that was interesting. <laughs> so hence why this is out of the packaging, because I opened this up on the non-video that I was doing, because I was just practicing. I just wanted to, you know, just do a couple takes. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, whatever. Okay, so there's so many goodies. Like I, I have like so many just videos just to share with you guys. I hope that you've been enjoying them. Now I want to play with everything. I have like so much stuff I want to make, and my work is getting in the way. I gotta, I gotta figure out what to do with my work <laughs> because. I'd rather do this. So, okay, we're just going to get into it. Let's slide this over. So first, I want to show... Let me, let me put this back in the pack of this cake. So, Tamara has a whole bunch of tools on her... Um, well, not a whole bunch, but she just got in some new tools in her store. And I'm... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So one, I thought... This was the smaller original version that came out with Martha Stewart because we are memory keepers, um, American Crafts, whoever. Took over the rights to all Martha Stewart stuff. If you haven't noticed, that's what looks so similar. But I always wanted one of these punches. My friend has one, and I used to just punch up a whole bunch of my scraps before I left her place because you guys know I love photo corners. I absolutely love photo corners. I think they're great for gifting People don't know what to do with a lot of our projects. So to be able to just slide the photo into the actual photo corners is awesome. But I punched one out in the non-video that I was doing just to show because I was so surprised. It's so much bigger than the original version. Oh my gosh, I love it. So it comes out like this, just falls out. And again, this is perfect for scraps. Use up your scraps. It could be solids, it could be patterns, whatever. And then you fold on the score lines. There's your, um, your uh, what do you call it? Uh-huh, your photo corner. And then just tuck it on. I love how big it is. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Like this would be perfect on like a scrapbook layout. Um, I love the size of this. And then you could just glue down you know, just on those little hinges right there. Very cute. Very, very cute. So I got that. That is in there. And you guys will see me using this for sure because I love photo corners. And then I do want to show you one of the other tools she has that was not part of my design team haul. But she does have... Um, this in her store as well. We are memory keepers. It's definitely worth the investment because, and I say this because mine is gonna be for my travel. It's going in my travel bag because it is literally like 10 plus tools in one. And when I say 10 tools, 10 tools that minimum would start out at $10, minimum. So definitely more than $10 on most of, if you bought these tools all individually. So you get, um, and she did a, a live video. If I can find it, I'll link it. Um, she did a live, and I can see a little, she's here, it's gonna drive me crazy. But um, she did a video on this, kind of showcasing it, but you have basically what I'm calling this is like a misty. So a stamp press, and um, it's just built in, has magnets here. It is a trimmer, and it does fold out to where you can trim 12 by 12. And it's a scoreboard as well, so just so you guys can see. And let me just take it out of this plastic, because the glare is driving me crazy. So you have this here. Like I said, this is magnetic. I love magnets. Boop, boop. And then you have basically your envelope punch, punch board where you can also do file tab, uh, the tag, 
um, where you can make tags. You have pom pom maker. You have down here is where you would do your ribbon. Let me see where it's at. Um, make your bows, which I love to make double bows. So you can do that here, and it gives great directions. Um, and there's like, just so you can kind of see two different ones in there so um, you can make tassels with this it's just it's just all in one that's all I could say you have um, where you can make a banner I think I pretty much have said everything that they make but just so you guys can kind of see that these are um, available in the shop I will I will link this tool I will link the punch she has another punch that I don't have with me um, Sheesh, can't even get this in there. Uh, that is where you do the two slots. You punch the corner of like your photo mat and you do, it makes two slits, I should say. And you could tuck your photo into it, which I love. And again, it's great for gifts. People don't know how to do the things we do, so we gotta make it easy for them. But this is in the shop, which is awesome. Must have, gotta get it. And then. Okay, so I showed this in a previous video. See see what happens to me when I get two weeks of sleep? I like, I'm insane. I'm insane anyways, but you know, now I just have all this energy. So um, I showed in the Country Craft Creations, my Orlando Retreat Show and Tell video. I we got the large the 12 by 12 so I showed that but I just want to show you just you know what the 8 by 8 looks like we're not going to go in detail but just so you can see the scale of things um, and I love I love these little cut aparts like wouldn't that just be adorable on a little mini just a mini mini so cute um, and I want to show you a couple other things in just a second of I did order like solid cardstock and some so solid seam binding to go along with this and I'll show you that in a minute but first let me just oh and then there is these here um that I was like oh what is this nice little surprise in there so you might get in one of your orders one of these two of these I don't know um but if you do it is just a nice little thank you from Tamara and team um, just to say thank you for being a great customer of Country Craft Creations. And oh my gosh, these are so cute. I, I love the little bingo. The little bingo card is so cute. And then you have this on this side here. So you just never know with Country Craft Creations. You might get a little surprise. You might win an actual retreat box, which somebody won the last retreat in Orlando and got to follow along virtually. There's just always surprises. You just never know. So Tamara might add that in. So if you get it, just know it's okay. It was meant to be. You're good. And then um, I had to get just a little bit of this because it's just so stinking cute. Echo Park, let's create. I'll link everything below. Um, I grabbed some of the singles, but obviously like the collection is... Um, a great way to go to. I don't know if I got every piece from the collection. I feel like I didn't. There were some that I just really liked. Um, and then I grabbed the die cuts here, which I'm not going to take these all out, but try not to have the glare. Ignore my crazy nails. Just saying. They'll be getting done tomorrow. <laughs> I need to ignore them really is what I'm saying. But lots of fun. The colors, I love. It reminds me of the Boho Baby collection. And you have like this is um, a sewing themed sheet here with this nice blue on the back. This one here, and you could punch out these little circles. What are these called? What are these called? I know what they're called. I don't do it, but no, not quilting. Oh, you guys are gonna have to tell me in the comments. What are these like rings called? Is it a quilting ring? stitching ring I don't know something like that but nowadays you can use them for whatever you could put paper on those suckers and still use them love this wood grain and with this collection you do not have to use the crafting you could use all the b-sides 
And then they did add in like a few um, cut aparts that are just plain. You can use as journaling, add photos to, but you can use this in different ways. I love the colors. Love, love, love. So cute. Oh my gosh. That, I mean, I'm assuming for me, it looks like it's a, you know, a, what are you, a sponger, like, you know, just to put on ink. But it looks so cute. Like, mine don't look like that. Should I make mine look like that? I don't know. That would be fun to just decorate one and have it just as, you know, a little decor in your room. All I know is it's cute. Someone had the idea from somewhere. Then you have this one with the scissors. Love this rich color. Big floral and then a smaller floral with the green background. And then that color there. Then this deeper green. And so cute. The little dabbers. Oh my gosh. Very cute. Okay, so that is a really quick share. I'm, uh, I'm going to try really hard to bust some things out this weekend. It's holiday weekend. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> I want to just craft. And that's what I'm going to do. I don't care. But I want to show you guys something. So I ordered this solid My Colors cardstock. And I did kind of a little bit of each. I'm going to show you a couple things. So here are the colors. But one, just look at like this right here. So that one goes... This one goes, and I didn't order it to go with this collection at all. This one goes. Those are my favorite. So this one is aquamarine. Then you have sea salt. It's going to take me forever to add all this to the description box. And then mauve. I really love the mauve. I ordered these to go with the Country Craft Creations exclusive collections, the by the seaside and Homer's Diner is why I ordered these, but I love that it matched these two. So again, just more options. And then um, I'm gonna just show you. So we're laying that out. And I have shown this in a previous video. Oh my God, it's so cute. But this is the 12 by 12. I, in our retreat bag, we had the eight by eight. And again, if you join the retreats, you get exclusive, um, like you get the projects first. Basically, you get to use, not the projects, you get the collections first before they're even on sale. This is so stinking cute. So I just have to show you. So I just grabbed some colors that I think will work back, you know, to the collection. I wasn't quite sure on this um, bright pink one. And I think I got that mostly to go with the, um, by the seaside, but we'll have to see. What color is this that I got? Oh, this is lovable. And I love lovable. Yep, I do, but I think, I don't know, we'll see. Um, because I feel like it doesn't, it's not with this one. For me, I am the girl who is matchy-matchy. I like my paper to match exactly. I have problems, I uh, know, just leave me alone. Don't judge. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I don't know why I can, some are brighter. Yeah, so it'll still work. But as you can see, like there's this kind of hot pink in here. Love that. Let me just show you. Now I've made a big mess. <laughs> but I love this paper. Love it, love it. Oh my gosh, look at that. I can't wait because there is going to be, again, I don't remember the name of it. I want to say, oh, I don't know. 1950s murder mystery in the diner? I don't know. But it's a 1950s like murder mystery retreat in May. I don't know why we're, we're going to be doing some murdering. No, just kidding, but... Um, this is going to be a lot of fun dressing up. That's going to be a fun retreat. I, 
it might have sold out but it might not have so if it hasn't sold out yet I will link that as well um, but look I, mean, I had to get this seam binding it's so pretty and then I didn't realize how much twine um, Tamara carries in her country craft creation store there's so many different colors and I had to have this and again like this will match that collection and then it matches this collection I love it and then I keep saying and then so for here I wanted to pull out more of the coral versus the red when I do this next project so that's really what I was grabbing this one for sorry and this is what is this mob so just so you can kind of see I don't know if there's a better one to show you because there is a lot of the mob throughout you could do the red I mean you could do whatever color you want to let's be serious but I really like that I love it love it love it and then of course the, all the um, tealy colors I got to go with this collection I got this to match you know like the beach I wanted to test this one out and this is <laughs> sandy beach there you go so just you can, the craft works you know the artisan craft obviously works but if you are doing maybe you're doing like you know a different color base and you just want something a little bit you know earthier this is an option to use the sandy beach. And then, let's see if we can move this. I wanted to pull out just some of these colors here. So this one is definitely to go with the di Homer's Diner, but these tealy colors I really got to go with. I mean, look how pretty, just, I don't know, I love this part right here. I absolutely just love it. But look at, how well that matches and let me see the other side and this one is tropical bay if I didn't say that already but I definitely like the blingy side and then you have these ones up here just so you can kind of see if you have any questions on which color is which uh, let me know but I'm just trying to maybe I'm messing up my little thing here I just want to be able to show you, like, it's nice just to see the different colors, you know, that you can get. It's just, you know, sometimes it's different than our little swatches. But I love, I love all this turquoise and teal. Oh my goodness, this is like heaven for me. Just heaven. I mean, I shouldn't say that because, I mean, really, it's paper. <laughs> It's just so pretty. Like even the, the turquoise can go too. I'm just, it's so pretty people. Y'all missing out. And I think in my last video I showed, you know, how I wanted the eight by eight so that this could just be, this could be just framed, just framed. Like so in a cute little beach house, you can have, um, you could do like a white frame. Oh, we might do that. Like a white framed art, but then with rope glued around it. Like, you know, the beach colored tan rope around it. Oh my gosh, that would be really cute. And then you could just use this as the front of the cover. I'm, I have like a thousand ideas, but I never get the time to do everything. I know, I'm just crazy. So this is great for the different sizes. So. You know, if you are able to do an 8x8 plus a 12x12, 12 12, it gives you more options to do things with. But I could create a mini album, a trifold folio. I could create artwork for a house. Um, just like, I mean, these, I'm trying to see it. These type of things, just like even in like a bathroom, just decor, like so pretty. And you could add seashells to it or like, you know, what do people have those like glass, you know, ocean balls with the nets, the netting around it. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but I'm hoping you guys are following. <laughs> you know, it's those shiny, pretty like balls, but 
There's just so much stuff you could do with all these things. I'm telling you, if I was like a stager or something like that, which in a perfect world, anything artsy, I would be all over it. But you can create so much more than just mini albums and folios with this stuff. It's true art. So sky's the limit. And if you do post it, tag me. I would love to see it. Um, but like I said, there's just so many options. I love the colors that I picked um, out for this so that is going to be so cool I can't wait to get started but man I have got to learn how to be faster at crafting because Tamara just comes out with these things so fast I can't even keep up with her because she's off the charts amazing and it's just you know me trying to keep up and I can't <laughs> but there you guys go I really hope that you liked seeing all these goodies and definitely check out i will put the description box below but oh my god you have to have this have to it's a must a must a must a must but again great for scraps and just punch up a whole bunch and i just keep them in a little baggie in a drawer next to me so it's readily available um and i do have some of these as well in my to-go bag so you could do just like some white some black some craft as a solid you know, just to always have on hand. Even the gold, the mirrored gold. Oh my gosh, the mirrored gold paper and the silver mirrored. Yes, please. Definitely have to have this. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. I love, I love hearing, seeing them here in the comments. I love seeing the comments. I, I love seeing the projects that people post on scrapbookers of country craft creations, even though I get jealous every time because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I want to play and I can't. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, the second time around video, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and stay tuned. I really, really hope to have at least three projects done by this weekend for you um but let me know what you think in the comments below if you um haven't subscribed already i know i'm rambling right now i'm trying to wrap it up but if you haven't subscribed please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching bye